A fight in a restroom at Edmond Memorial High School. It is spurring questions from parents and a state official. It happened at the end of October and tonight the district is publicly addressing it. News 9's Brittany Toulis is on the story and Brittany, this is gaining traction really because of those involved. Yeah, that's right, Amanda. The three page long police report is filled with several accounts of what happened. The swirling questions from parents prompting the school superintendent to make a video breaking down the fight between a cis and transgendered student in the Edmond Memorial School's bathroom. Edmond School superintendent addressing concerns. You need to hear from us and know what happened. On October 26th, there was a fight at Edmond Memorial High School. That fight still on parents' minds and now the soon-to-be state superintendents as well, as it involved a cis and transgendered girl student. When the student enrolled, the student enrolled as a female and presented themselves as a female and so have been accepted as a female. Our legislature and governor passed and signed a bill that says boys cannot go in the girls' restrooms. That law aimed at trans students. Per the law, students have to use bathrooms that coincide with the sex written on their birth certificates. But per the police report, the student who is trans didn't have a sex on her birth certificate. Her sex at birth was on a separate affidavit. Edmond School says a birth certificate also isn't needed for a student to start school. If a parent comes in and enrolls their child as a certain gender, and when you look at that child by all social norms, they look and present themselves as that gender, it's not something that you would question. Dr. Angela Grunwald says the student who is trans isn't at Edmond Memorial anymore. According to the police report, the student she fought with had swelling on her face and possibly a concussion. Dr. Grunwald also emphasizing Edmond Schools does enforce the bathroom law. And we have a policy that was our school board enacted in August of the school year that says all students must go to the bathroom of their birth gender. I will be announcing an investigation into Edmond Public Schools to find out what happened. Superintendent-elect Walters also says he'll require all public schools to send their bathroom policies to him for review. In the studio, Brittany Toulis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.